it's Robo, and we're back with another episode of Robo Reviews. And on this episode of Robo Reviews, we're gonna finally take an in-depth look at the badassery that is the Lalo Tactical Footwear line. Check it out. So here you have it. Pretty much the coolest tactical boots on the market these days, and that would be the Lalo Tactical uh, Shadow Intruder, uh, or again, alternately, the Shadow Amphibian. Now, those are two different boots, and they just differ by one feature, and I'll cover that when we get there. These are the Shadow Intruders. Uh, I prefer them because I don't need water shedding capabilities. Uh, so there's a lot of features in this boot, so let's just kind of go through it one by one and cover everything. Uh, just to kind of fully illustrate to you why these are such an awesome boot, in my opinion. So let's start at the sole for simplicity and work our way up on the boot. Uh, as you'll see on the sole, it is a very intricate pattern, and this is for a specific reason. You'll notice it's a flat sole, uh, so unlike a lot of hiking boots, like the Solomons I have and whatnot, this generally has a very flat profile. Now, what that's for is actually to facilitate movement on things like ship decks, things that are flat, uh, urban settings like concrete, uh, where you want as much contact with the surface as possible to increase traction. You don't need to account for, say, rocky terrain where you've got a lot of juddy pieces on the sole like a hiking boot to maintain traction. You want most of those points down. So then the question is raised, well, if you need more points of contact to increase friction, why don't you just make the whole bottom smooth? Well, you simply need to go drive your car when it's raining to figure out why that's a bad idea. <laughs> and basically hydroplane immediately and crash and explode. So what you see here is, again, with the idea that seals need to operate on slippery surfaces like smooth uh, metal decks of ships uh, that are maybe covered in water, what you've got is little channels that uh, guide the water away from the bottom of the boot as you step down, much like tires work. Uh, this is why tires have channels uh, in them is to separate the road from the water and push the water out from underneath the tire between the surface it's stepping on. So therefore you don't hydroplane, spin out and explode. So that's exactly what these shoes are doing here. Now at towards the heel, you'll see that it's an articulated or rounded heel uh, to again, uh, facilitate a better heel to toe sort of transfer without so much of a violent striking motion, which not only protects your knees and ankles, but in terms of uh, Lalo's thought process, it actually creates less, of, less noise as you actually go through your gait. So it's their stealth approach technology, or their stealth approach uh, when it comes to the design of the sole. And it's the same with the front end. You see the front end kind of sticks up a bunch. That's to ensure a nice smooth toe off uh, the end of your foot. Now, there is some forwards texturing or sort of slanting to the, uh, the outsole up there and towards the back as well. That's for obvious reasons. Uh, if you're needing traction while on your toe, well, there you got it. And same thing, they're stepping your heel, some extra traction so you don't slip during those kind of precarious angled moments of your gait. Now, what you'll also notice underneath here are some crazy fancy spikes. And uh, no kidding, that's exactly what they are. They're uh, metal nonetheless too. They're climbing spikes. It's uh, again, so if you need to climb a wooden pole or ropes or whatever, uh, these being metal spikes truly dig in and give you that grip that you might need uh, in that archway. So, so while the average person most certainly doesn't really need metal climbing spikes up here, uh, they are very useful if you are. You climb over a fence or whatnot, you will actually really dig in with those. So again, it's a Navy SEAL idea or a Special Operations Forces kind of soldier idea uh, to have those there. Uh, Probably pretty low use to day to day, but are kind of cool guy points to have those for sure. Now, some of what you can't see here in the sole is uh, now this outsole here is a, a molded TPU outsole uh, with you know EVA foam above it to kind of give you some some compression. Uh, now, the big thing is you can't see here is a composite plate in here, which uh, really, really, really stabilizes that midfoot. The design standpoint that uh, Lalo Tactical is going for is that the smoother your foot. Uh, your foot roll can be, the smoother your, your actual steps and your walk can be, while the quieter you can be. So that's uh, exactly what that, that composite plate's in there for, is to stabilize the foot through that motion so you can actually get a smoother roll from heel to toe. Now moving up from the sole towards the back of the heel here, I just wanna quickly remark on something uh, that I find hilarious uh, to be on this boot from my perspective because I don't need this. Now it's totally, totally friggin' awesome though that this is on here, 
from an SOF soldier standpoint. What this is, is literally a fin lock. Okay, so if you were a Navy SEAL and you had to wear diving fins underneath your, over, over top your boots here, uh, the back strap would actually lock back here uh, through this texturization and on this ledge here. So it actually keeps the fin on your boot a lot better. Now, obviously the ha 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 or why I think it's hilarious is that I don't swim uh, with fins and boots on, so I don't need this. But uh, again, it's a feature of this boot and it's a feature on a boot I love anyways. So it's on there. I like to remark about it. I kind of giggle that it's on there, but for USOF guys, I mean, honestly, it's a really, really kind of cool feature that not a lot of other footwear options obviously have thought about. Now the back of the heel here as well, you're gonna see again an Achilles cutout, much like on the Bloodbirds. Now with these though, because of just how kind of like tactical walking or movement goes, you do a lot of heel to toe rolling and stuff you want, this to be able to flex at the back so you don't develop a hot spot uh, between your the, the angle of your calf and the angle of your ankle. So this Achilles cutout here really lets this rigid material have a break to allow the boot to compress and bend through that kind of walk cycle. Now in terms of the rest of the boot, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, now this is a microfiber leather upper. So here it's, it's, a, it's a special kind of leather, really soft, but very, very durable. Uh, not a lot of abrasions have, uh, have hit this. Now whether that's the design of the boot, just placement wise of this fabric or the fabric itself, either way, uh, again, very little damage to this material. Now moving towards the front of the boot, what you're noticing here is again another common feature that we saw in the Bloodbirds and the Zodiac Recons, which is that sort of ceramic coated uh, super fabric. Now again, based on the purpose of the design of the piece of footwear, dictates how these sort of features are applied. What you can notice about the boot, something that you know is worn when you're maybe dragging yourself along the ground or crouching a lot or running or kicking things. Well, it might make sense to make a lot of the front end of this boot the super fabric. Why? Because you might want a lot of that abrasion protection. So that's exactly what you see here. And as you can see, it holds up extremely well. I've worn these uh, you know, in urban environments, forested environments, training environments, dragged them across the ground, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And these have really, really, really stood up. Uh, what, again, whatever this fabric is, whatever it's made out of, whether it's you know leprechaun tears or uh, you know bulletproof vests that have been decommissioned, I don't care. Whatever doesn't matter. It is a fantastic fabric, no matter how funny the name. Um, so this super fabric toe cap uh, really, really, really does its job on the front of this boot. As you can see, it's it's, it's kept the front of this boot absolutely pristine. Now the midfoot is. Uh, essentially comprised of a rubber kind of material uh, interlaced with uh, ripstop accents. Uh, now the ripstop I think is just kind of an ode to obviously the culture that this is being made for. So uh, you get that sort of effect. Now the, the tongue is the same thing. It's uh, made of that ripstop fabric. It is a gusseted tongue. Now again, these aren't made to be waterproof. So that gusset just keeps out debris and it does have a hidden lace pocket up underneath there to hide the laces. Now the laces themselves, Nothing special, they're basically like a, a paracord. Now why is that? You go, well, these, these are really high speed boots, they should have cooler laces. Yeah, well, cooler laces are harder to fix in the field. So having paracord laces, if these ever break, well, you just take a piece of paracord and you make new laces. So that's what you see there. That pretty much covers these boots. I won't lie, uh, the boots themselves have become a mainstay in my kit. Uh, yes, I still wear my Solomon hikers, but anytime that I don't absolutely need waterproofing or absolutely need rugged soles for say mountaineering, I choose these over the Solomons every single day. They wear like a running shoe. It's insane how light uh, and low profile these are and athletically oriented. So if you can spare the coins and get and invest in these, in these boots, I swear you will not buy a better boot on the face of the planet. Now the big difference between these and the Shadow Intruders, if you're wondering, is that these holes are actually open in the Shadow Amphibians uh, over the Shadow Intruders like I have, and that is again just to drain water. Uh, so because I don't really need to swim with these on, I have the Shadow Intruders which are closed. So uh, that's just food for thought. Uh, but yeah, that basically covers the best boots on the market. So there you have it guys, my review of all my Lalo Tactical footwear, uh, sort of options or solutions that I've picked up over the last year. Uh, I really do mean it. Uh, these guys offer the best 
footwear solutions for athleticism uh, and operational sort of duties that I've come across for my uses. Obviously, there's a little bit of mileage may vary or eye of the beholder, that type of stuff. Uh, some operational guys might not like these as much as me because they encounter situations that I don't and, and vice versa or whatever, and the same with athletic shoes. But in terms of all around best value uh, on the market, I think these footwear options offer the best solutions to some of the problems that they were designed to solve. Uh, versus other competitors, uh, you know, when you also include things like comfort and design, design features and uh, limitations, all that fun stuff. So in terms of price point, uh, now the athletic shoes are, are going to be pretty fairly competitively priced with any other athletic shoe option out there. I believe the Bloodbirds and the Zodiac Recons go for around that $130, $135 mark. And the Shadow line of boots actually just have two price points uh, for the non-water shedding. Uh, Shadow Intruders like I have here, they're $250 USD and the Shadow Amphibians are an extra uh, $50, so $300 USD uh, just because of the extra features. Uh, now again, I kind of mentioned this before, it's you got to save your pennies if you want a pair of these. You know, these boots like Loa's, uh, another very popular high-end boot out there, uh, are just expensive because they're very feature rich. They're not going to be for everybody in Airsoft. And understand if you buy them for Airsoft, you're not getting the full value uh, out of the design in most cases. But to each their own. Uh, I actually just like collecting and testing and wearing this stuff. So while I don't get all the benefits of the features, I also didn't mind the value I put into them. So uh, again, if you're going to pick these up, you will get the best boot uh, that money can buy. Just know that you're saving your pennies and you're going to you know, spend a little bit of money uh, to buy them in the end. So now that said though, if you do invest, if you do save your pennies and buy the boots, or if you, you know, you switch your athletic shoes over to Lalo Tactical, I can tell you, you're going to be uh, a happy customer. You're going to have any problems solved, uh, with comfort and with features to, uh, to boot. So, uh, I do implore you guys go check out lalotactical.com. I've got them linked in the description below. They're a fantastic company. I've been working with them for about a, a year and a half now as a, as a customer. Uh, so much so that actually I've negotiated a little bit of a, a treat for you guys. Now, I've been advertising this at the end of my videos for a while now, but just to officially tell you, um, you know, because I, I, I've you know, been given a lot of feedback to Lalo and they've, they've treated me excellent as a customer, we've talked a lot, they actually set up a, a promotional code uh, for you guys to use that actually saves you money on any, literally any uh, footwear purchase that you make through Lalo Tactical, whether it be their boots or the athletic stuff. Uh, gets you 20% off all of their footwear. Um, so anytime you, you are thinking about picking up a new pair of shoes, take a little bonus down here. Uh, the code is RoboMurray20. So just input that during the sales process to get 20% uh, taken off all of your purchases. So again, another incentive for why you might want to follow with my advice and jump over to the Lalo uh, Tactical Train when it comes to athletic and tactical shoes uh, and boots. Uh, so that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and of course, let me know what you think below. Thanks guys. So there you have it guys. That pretty much takes care of another episode of Robo Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at all the Lalo Tactical footwear I own. And huge thank you to the team at Lalo Tactical for being such a customer-oriented company uh, and so welcoming, especially to me and my Milsom activities. It's always nice to see a company go the extra mile for their customers and Lalo Tactical is that. So a huge thank you to the team that I deal with, especially at Lalo Tactical, being Chelsea, Mike, Shannon, and Jay. It was awesome meeting most of you at SHOT Show this year and I look forward to continuing business with you guys. So again, I implore all of you guys watching, especially if you like this review, do check out Lalo Tactical. They're linked in the description below. Now I still have a ton of stuff to review for you, uh, including my Tactical Tailor uh, plate carrier, as well as my newly acquired uh, Peraz Designs low profile slick plate carrier as well. So be on the lookout, those reviews will be dropping soon. And in terms of gameplay, I have a ton of gameplay uh, to finish off for you. Obviously, I gotta continue my Broken Home 5 series as well as start my series from an op here in Canada called Nightfall 5 that I attended a few weeks ago. So, so please guys, do be patient with me. I do have a ton of gameplay coming down the pipes for you guys to enjoy very, very soon. Now, as always, I do wanna take a quick second to thank my three most awesome sponsors, being Enola Gay Tactical Smoke Grenades, Red Wolf Airsoft, and Coyote Tactical Solutions. Now, these three companies provide me support in a way that of course lets me do more airsoft, but more importantly bring you guys more reviews, more gameplay, and more philosophies to enjoy and learn from. So 
Big thumbs up and thanks to these three companies. Please do take the time to check out their websites. They're linked in the description below. Now, whether you did or you didn't like this video, this guy still wants to know about it. Drop me a line in the comments below. I do appreciate the feedback and the conversation. And if you could do me a huge solid, and that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Keeps me happy in this YouTube game. Until next time, guys, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, and family love. Thanks, guys.